Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tiny Northeastern and um, hope you're all keeping safe and well and looking after yourselves which is more important and um, yeah as you can see I've been doing a little bit of um, destruction um, reason being is I've got a new camera and um, I just tried to do some filming just now using this um, flatbed um, bolster wagon and uh, <laughs> it clobbers the bridges so hence why I am destroying this so I've removed the, the box all I've got to do is remove all this plastic and put a new piece of plastic on with some um, little sides on it so that when I put the camera in it won't topple over um, so yeah and this is the camera we're talking about it's a cube GoPro um, model walnut um, I've done a couple of trial takes and the picture quality is far superior than the intelligent camera I've got um, I think the intelligent camera is, is geared up for um, nighttime vision, but this one isn't, so there'll be a lot more clarity in the picture. But in order to do the shots that I want, I've got to alter this. So I've taken off the box, like I've just said, and I've just got to clean that back and glue on a piece of uh, plastic card on there, two mil thick and then I'll put some little sides on it uh, just to stop it um, rolling over so it goes in on a nice snug fit um, it's four wheel base so I'm not sure if it's going to have the same stability as the bolster wagon does but at least I'll know it's not going to hit my bridges because um, that's what happened I tried to do it go straight into doing a video and the camera clobbered the bridge at uh, South Shields. Luckily there was no people on the bridge and uh, there's no damage done which is good. So I'll have a fiddle with this, clean this up. What I've got here is a purpose-built cradle for the camera. Um, so when it's glued onto the wagon it would look like it would hold something anyway so I've just got to paint this red, red oxide um, but before I do that I've got to make sure the glue has gone off so what I'll do is I'll just finish it off with some plastic weld to seal the joints and just to make sure that, um, that the joints are sealed yeah so it's all made out of um, 2 mil plastic card um, I've just measured the camera up, um, which is a uh, 35mm square, and all I've done is just built this to go around it. Um, it looks solid in there, and that means I won't have to use any blue tack or anything like that to keep it in place, and that'll stop the camera from getting um, glue marks or residue marks from any of the blue tack that's why I have uh, come up with this idea so that will just be glued onto there and hopefully with it being a low level wagon it should miss the bridges I mean it doesn't matter if I can see this area here uh, when we're doing the videos but uh, it just makes it look as if though it's um, in a wagon which it is Right, so I've glued the camera support onto the um, low loader and uh, I've added some weight on the bottom because I've learnt from last time um, all that is is a couple of 8mm penny washers and filled in with some tiny ball bearings um, we called liquid uh, uh, liquid lead I think they call them right so it's all that's left to do now is to paint this up in a red oxide which is MAT 37 might need a couple of coats this and uh, 
just to try and blend it in with the load loader if I can. So when the camera is not in there, it looks like it's purposely built for a load, if you know what I mean. I'll just uh, think I can get away with that. Might have to weather it a little bit, add some black paint once this is dry, just to because it looks a bit too, not doesn't quite match the load loader at the moment. Right, so that's that painted now and I added some northeastern transfers. So what I'm doing now is just some black powder <coughs> just to tone it down a little bit because it is way too red. And uh, by adding some black powder it just takes the sharpness of the red off of the paint. Uh, you probably noticed that I haven't painted the inside. Uh, what I want to do there is stick a little bit of um, chamois leather in there just to cushion the camera so it's not hard on the plastic. Hopefully that might just um, get cushion it a little bit and the vibration won't come through camera that's that's the idea there but, uh, yeah I quite like the look of that it looks like it's always been on the loader purpose-built to do a job now for the finishing touches just drop this little bit of shimmy leather in there I'll get it right round because it's almost square. Yeah, that's the right way around. Just used a little bit of Yoohoo glue I've just dropped in there. And that just finishes that off. Just make sure it gets glued into the corners. So, job done. It's got a little bit dirty. That's off the that's off the shimmy leather when I had it on the table. But apart from that, I think that's ready to go. Success. It's about five millimeters lower and the, the old bolster wagon. So, sit back and enjoy the tour.
So that's the Cadex FPV. I think you all may agree that um, the footage is a lot, a lot better. Um, very crisp, even when the um, camera was going at quicker speeds. So yeah, just like to say a big thank you to Clive at New Newland Junction for recommending this camera and a big thank you for Mrs T for buying it for me for my birthday. So yeah, thank you very much and I um, hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and I think that's all from me now. Thanks again for watching, look after yourselves, bye.